options. So here we see the type 4. See the straight line AB which is kept parallel to BP because you are getting the true length on BP but the other side you are getting a point. When a straight line becomes reduced length then it is inclined. If the reduced length is totally nullified, you are getting a point, it is perpendicular. Take this position, there is a height here, place the height, plot the point A dash, take the distance of the straight line, if that is the length of the straight line, you are getting uh, true length, since the straight line is parallel to BP, you are getting true length on BP, so frontly gives you true length. So you draw A dash B dash by a dot line. Then you just project to A dash B dash. Find out this in front of distance. In front of is always below. So it's only a point. You see, if you see from the top, only B is visible. A is not visible. So put B, then A within bracket. So this is how the projection like. So you have to specify this distance. Let's say this distance is 20 mm. Then you have to specify this distance 30 mm in front of VP. You have to specify the length of the straight line. Here in this case, take the length of the straight line as 50 mm. Let us go to the next case. Try 5. So again similar, here the straight line is parallel to HP but perpendicular to VP. So you are getting true length on HP that is on top view but a point on front view that is on VP. Here you are getting true length on VP and a point on HP. So once again you take this. Take the in front of distance, plot the point to P, take the true length, finish the straight line Q. When you see from the bottom, you will find only Q first. So, therefore, at the required height, put the point Q dash first and P dash should be drawn within bracket. So, you have to specify this height, take it as 20 mm, this then take under 20, then specify the length of the straight line, take arbitrary distance 50 mm, so you will get the projection of PQ. So, PQ is the top view, P dash is the front view. Take this case. So again the simplest one. Try six. See here is a straight line which is inclined to HP but lies on VP. If a point lies on VP, its top view lies on XY line. If a point lies on VP, its top view lies on XY line. That is R lies on VP, so small r lies on XY line. Capital S lies on VP, so small s lies on XY line. So what you do, just draw, put the point P, locate okay, the point P. Then draw the required angle, specify the angle with the help of true length. Here the angle is taken as 30 degree. So locate the point Q, front view Q dash, and view P dash. Project it, don't go beyond the XY line because the straight line lies on VP, its top view should lie on the XY line. See, there is no breadth, so therefore for P there is no breadth, P lies, small p lies on XY line. Q also there is no breadth, so small q lies on the XY line. Again, we have another simplest case where the straight line lies on HP. See capital E lies on HP, so E dash lies on XY line. Capital F lies on HP, 
F dash slides on x y line. So in the same way, first to take the point E for the required uh, distance, then put the angle pi. Here in this case, take phi as 45 degree. Take the true length. Take the true length. Place it on the E line. Make it as E of then project it. We will get the short length on XY line. So the short length uh, E dash F dash is your front view. So again you have to specify this distance. Then the angle that is in this case it is 45 degree. Then the true length, true length we have taken it as 50 mm. So